Namaste. In this lecture, we are going to learn how to deal with the radio buttons. As you radio, as you know, radio buttons are also called option buttons, and we can choose only one of them. So I am going to have an HTML file, suppose with the name radio dot HTML, or whatever name you want to have. So within the comments let me write following is an example of radio buttons okay this is our HTML tag body tag and within the body tag I'm going to have my form element action is equal to radio.jsp as you know this means when we will be clicking on the submit button the control will go to radio.jsp uh, radio.jsp program is supposed to retrieve the value that was selected by the user so I'm going to have uh, normal text boxes and your first name input type is equal to text First, I'm going to have two text boxes. Then we will be having radio buttons. This is for your last name. Only two radio, only two text boxes are sufficient. This is last name and let it be last name. Okay. So now I am going to have the radio buttons input type is equal to radio name is equal to subjects this name is going to be the same for all the radio buttons because it's a kind of a group then value is equal to physics this is the value and this physics is going to be displayed which I have written after the angular brackets let me copy and paste as you know the prerequisite for this program is you should be well versed in core Java and a bit of HTML so this is a simple HTML for creating radio buttons so the second radio button is for the subject chemistry third one is going to be for maths and fourth one is going to be for let it be biotech which is also called biotechnology as far as value is concerned you can give any value like I have given biotech and then lastly let me have um, suppose uh, zoology okay this is zoology okay so these are our radio buttons lastly I am going to have my submit button and on clicking this submit button our control will go to radio.jsp because in the form in the action attribute of the form tag we have written radio.jsp okay so far so good uh, let me use break line so that all the radio buttons they are displayed on the new line okay great job now go to run as run on server yeah this is it here we are going to have first name last name and we can choose any one of the subjects but before that let me write radio.jsp let me write some code in radio.jsp go to file give the name of the file anything I'm going to give us radio.jsp okay so HTML tag then body tag and here I'm going to give uh, commands in JSP 
I would be writing reading values from HTML controls. So these is HTML controls are text boxes and radio buttons. Okay. Only one of the radio buttons can be chosen by the user. So in the bold letters I am going to write the in the in the in the bold I am going to write the student with name. Name of the student can be obtained by writing request dot get parameter. Request dot get parameter and within parenthesis I would be writing the name that was given in the HTML code and the name was given for the first name as first name only. Okay. So now I'm going to retrieve the value of the last name. So I would be writing percentile is equal to that is our expression tag again request dot get parameter last name right so okay so the message will be like student with name first name last name whatever it is has opted for the following subject now we'll be retrieving whatever has been chosen we will be retrieving the value that has been chosen by the user from among the radio buttons. So percentile is equal to request dot get parameter and this is going to be subjects because this was the name given to the radio buttons in the HTML code. So run as run on server, click on save. Here I am going to give the first name, here I am going to give the last name, here I am going to choose suppose biotechnology. Oops, there seems to be some problem, no problem. This is part of programming whenever you write programs and after that you want to execute them, errors are bound to be there. but Arrows are your great teachers. They become your teachers. So uh, let me see where the problem occurred. What caused the problem? Okay, let me read the program. Action is equal to okay, last name, type. Uh, what can be the possible cause? Let's okay submit the codes have been closed everything seems to be right let me jump to the radio.jsp program in radio.jsp uh, okay the codes were not closed of last name and subject that was a very simple problem it was a silly mistake to run as run on server here I am going to give the first name as Anand and your last name Mahajan biotechnology yes the student with name this was retrieved uh, first name was retrieved second uh, last name was retrieved and the subject name is being shown null yes so there is problem while retrieving the value from the radio buttons uh, okay right the problem was within get parameter I have written subject whereas the name was given as subjects it was a minor mistake again we are going to execute the program run as run on server this is going to be your first name 
this is going to be your last name this is going to be maths is going to be your subject click on the submit button then the student with name anand mahajan has opted for the following subject now the name of the subject is right that is maths so the program has been executed successfully